travel's arguably been impacted it has been impacting people's lives more than anything else since the blockade started. Take, for example, this flight. It's traveling from Doha to Amman, Jordan. It left earlier today. It's usually a two-hour flight to Jordan. But since Qatar Airways cannot fly over Saudi, you can see it has to take the long way over Iraq instead. This flight, QR403, arrived about three hours after takeoff. Other Qatar Airways flights have to do the same thing no matter where they're going. Now, we talked to several expats living in Qatar and ask them how their life has changed. This is what one student had to say. Two months into the Gulf crisis, I have had mixed feelings about this situation. Initially, I did not think the blockade would last this long, especially since the Gulf countries depended on each other in things such as trade. However, two months into the blockade, Qatar has shown the world how strong it can be and continues to resist until this day. It is with no doubt that the Gulf crisis has impacted business and the lives of millions. My university in Qatar has students from the UAE, KSA, and Bahrain. If this Gulf crisis continues, their future may be in jeopardy. As a new semester of university approaches, I can only hope for the best. The current Gulf crisis must end and the lives of millions must return to normal. We also heard from Qataris. Take a listen. Despite the fact that so many families and friends were not able to see each other, like me, I have so many friends from Saudi Arabia, and I don't really know when am I going to be able to visit them again. This blockade is really a blessing in disguise. The previous two months have taught us many different things. Most importantly, it set our course to the future, which is to be self-sufficient and self-dependent in our food, agriculture, medicine, and manufacturing. I honestly didn't expect this blockade to last this long. However, Qatar continues to prove to the world on a daily basis that when they go low, we go high. Never before in Qatar's history have we seen both expats and locals side by side working towards a common goal. I think His Highness the Emir has clearly indicated that the expatriate community is an inseparable part of this nation, and he has recently approved the issuance of the permanent residency system. Kamal Mohammed just said Qatar passed a law that will allow some expats to apply to become permanent residents. Mm. It's the first Gulf country yeah, to do so. And, and not insignificant when you consider 90% of the population here right. is actually um, uh, foreign.